Entropy is the natural order of the universe. I simply catalyze the process. All right, let's make something. All right, what are we gonna make? So I want to make a mask. It's off this game I play called Apex Legends. I uh, just been kind of playing around. Saw this. There's a character called Caustic on there. He's got this gas mask face mask. We're gonna try to make that with our new 3D printer. All right. So. We used to have this Alta Plus Silhouette 3D printer. Okay, about as cheap as you can get for a 3D printer. Pretty basic. It uh, did pretty good for what it was for the cost. I think you can pick these up for about 200 bucks. But you were pretty limited to a, the build plate was about a six inch round build plate. So you couldn't build anything over six inches wide. I'm gonna say six to eight inches tall. I don't know if you could build eight inches tall. I don't remember the exact perimeters. We printed a bunch of stuff with this. Stephanie, my wife, has a baking company and we built her a lot of cookie cutters. All right. We actually built this with a new printer, but this is what, this is a 3D printed cookie cutter. This is one I just built uh, two days ago. All right. So this printer here took probably about an hour to print something like this. The new printer that we have will print this in roughly 19 minutes. This here you could only print one at a time. The new printer I can print about four of these. Of course that ups the time to about um, so I can print three of these almost about the same quickness as this. All right. So this broke the heat head on it broke or it just wasn't printing anymore. So I could have replaced this part for like 60 bucks or bought a new printer. So we decided we made our money on this. So we're going to upgrade now. I may use this for what we're fixing to print. We'll see. I'm going to put that to the side right now. All right, let's take the camera off the tripod and get you a close up look of the printer. All right, we're in Pablo's in our shipping container man cave portion. Space is getting kind of tight in here. But let me show you what we're working with. So, in this corner, we got all the guitar, bass, amp, speaker set up. And if you watch my other videos, you knew I blew the motor up in the Nissan. So I made a stand. That was going to be a coffee table made out of the old engine and engine components and some uh, hedge wood for the base. That was going to be a coffee stand. It ended up being a 3D printer stand. What we have here is the Bamboo Lab P1S. That's what we're going to be working with. And I've already used this a bunch, and it is pretty phenomenal compared to the Ulta Plus. But it is more expensive, so that is to be expected. The build plate is larger, so you can build larger stuff. Let me show you some of the things I've built already. Once again, off of Apex Legends. This is the RE45. I printed it and painted it. Now we're going to build a caustic mask. I've printed one other mask. That mask there. So we're going to build another one with the P1S. I'm going to show you uh, roughly how we're going to do that. 
and we got some cheap filament on Amazon this is a thousand gram roll I got a black roll and a white roll both rolls were 30 bucks all together so 15 bucks a piece for a thousand grams it's the cheapest stuff I could find on Amazon we're gonna see how it prints I'll try to take a picture of the brand and all that so let's get on the program that we're gonna use the website for the mask. Alright, so here we are. This is going to be kind of janky. I'm videoing the screen where a professional would video directly off the computer. So this is not going to look as clear, but this is what we've found. It's off of Thingiverse. You go to Thingiverse, search Thingiverse on Google. And they've got all kinds of cool stuff on there. So I looked through, typed in Apex, went through there, and we found this mask, which is actually four pieces. Let's see if I can get over here. That's a piece. That's a piece. Then you've got these two canisters on the side. Those are. So you come down here, we scroll down, we're on Thingiverse, we go down, files, click on files, we're already on files. And that's all the files, four files, STL files. Okay, download all four of those. This is free. Thingiverse is free. You can tip the maker if you want. You could go to other sites like CG Trader and buy files that are usually are considered better, higher quality. Okay, thing details. Now here's an important thing about this. This will give you tips and stuff on what they use to print supports, yes. Okay, so down here somewhere, you need to scale it 10 times to fit. That means that this is 10 times smaller than what it needs to be when you put it on your thing. Now this is a mask, so it's going to have to be scaled to your head. We're going to print it at 10 times, like the uh, maker suggests, and see how it fits. I'm just going to print this portion and see how it fits my head and then we'll go from there. Okay. So download those and then we'll go to files. I've got these on the download left mask. This will take a minute to load. So I'm going to pause the video. All right. All right. Right quickly. I'm not going to do a super detailed thing on this. Uh, there's plenty of how-to videos okay so here's our thing it's really small on the build plate we're gonna click on it and we're gonna come up here scale and he said 10 times bigger so 10 times 100 is a thousand I'm pretty smart scale bigger okay let's get rid of that so there you see all right now before I do this, I know I'm going to need supports. First I'm going to uh, change the orientation. I'm going to put this orientation the way Bamboo Lab says to put it. So it flipped it upside down. Alright. So ten times bigger and we flipped it. I know we're going to need supports on this thing. So we're going to click Enable Supports. And I'm going to do On Build Plate Only. And what that's going to do is fill this in with supports. So now we're going to preview. This will take just a minute. Alright, it looks like everything is good. If it wasn't, it would give you some warnings over here. Like if we didn't use supports, it would say, hey, you should probably use supports. Okay, now we can go to print plate. And this will show us what we're looking at. So it's saying we're using 4.3 ounces of filament for this and it's going to take roughly four hours to print this. So let's get started. Hopefully this is scaled to my head. Maybe a little bit smaller just because I got a abnormally large skull. So we're going to print this anyways and see what it looks like whether we got to make adjustments or not. All right. All right, I'll see you later.
All right, here we are. Got the finished product on the build plate. Looking at this, I'm thinking it's gonna be too small for my big fat head. We're gonna tear this off the build plate. It should come right off. I'm gonna put this down for just a second. So I did have some problems. I don't know if the filament got stuck. What happened here? Right here, it's supposed to go all the way down and it got stringy, stringy, stringy. So I'm not sure what happened there. Other than that, everything looks good. Other than it being a little too small blue. So you take this off your build plate and we have these supports. That's what it looks like. Supports that we have to take out. Should just pop right off. Like so. I'm gonna take these edges off. And we're gonna try this on, even though I don't think it's gonna fit. All right, moment of truth. It actually feels okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go look at it in the mirror and see what I think. See if it's big enough. All right, so this is what we are working on. This is the legend caustic. We are making his mask. Okay, so this is the essential character that I'm using right now. This mask is also uh, actually called black heart mask, which is this one. Okay which is a goldish color with black. We don't have to make it that color. Um, that's a different one, so that's silver with a scary skullish looking doohickey majigger. There's other ones down here, they're not the same mask, they're just different colors. So we can essentially make this any color we want. So we're gonna make it probably, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But that's the mask we're making. Gluing this together on top of a Minnie Mouse table is something that I have always longed for. Just kidding. That's how ta caustic talks. So we printed the other three pieces. We printed them all at the same time on the same plate. They came out, looks fantastic. So I've got this here glue. This is what I've been using. Loctite 416 is a plastic glue. So we're going to apply some glue. And put these together. All I'm going to do is put some glue on there and I hold it for a couple minutes in place till it sticks on its own. And then we'll set it to the side and let it dry for at least an hour or two before we do anything. We may let it glue overnight. I'm not going to do that on camera. But I'll take some glue around this edge here maybe some around that edge and join the two pieces together hold it together for a couple minutes till I feel like it can stay on its own prop it up and we will go from there all right folks it's the next day I'm not gonna lie this thing was a pain in the butt to glue because essentially the way it fits in, you can't glue one piece at a time. You've got to essentially hold all three pieces in together because they fit in together. So I ended up using a hot glue gun for a quick set. I used my plastic glue for the long term, but uh, I had to use a hot glue gun to set it up quick and hold it. Now, scuffed it up with some Sandpaper, especially where there was glue resin, got rid of that, scuffed it up a little bit, 
I'm not worried about imperfections. That's just gonna. This already has imperfections essentially printed into the mask. So we want this mask to look battle worn, anyways. So any imperfections we're not worried about. What are we gonna paint it with? I'm gonna do two colors. You can paint it whatever color you want. You can try to make it look as close to what's on the on the game or whatever as you want. But I'm going to go with this neon black light green for this part. And I'm not looking to full coat this. I'm looking to kind of brush it on and leave some of that black bleeding through. Once again, for battle worn. And then the silver I'm going to do on the uh, respirator system he's got there. So that's what we're going to do. All right, here's what we got. Now, this was a bright green. If you wanted it a bright green, you'd probably have to do a couple coats. I don't really want to do bright green. This olive drab looking color is fantastic to me. We're gonna coat it with some of this crystal clear semi-gloss Rust-Oleum. See if I can get some of this on camera. It's kind of windy out here, so. Couple light coats first. Don't want to go too crazy in case we have any problems with the paint. Just a light dusting. And then we'll come back and hit it with a heavy coat at the end. So on that note, I think we're going to finish this video. If you wanted to put a strap around this, you'd probably have to drill some holes in here. On the sides and put you a head strap on there. We're not going to do that. Uh, I may make a part two of putting this in that display case I was talking about. Using the old Ulta Plus printer. Making a display case for this thing. Be kind of cool looking. With some lights in there. So we painted this thing up with that black light paint look pretty cool uh, kind of looks black with a darkish green over it bamboo lab p1s worked pretty good for printing some cosplay stuff if you're into that sort of thing uh, of course we're using it for the cookie cutters that works well but uh, as far as I'm concerned the bamboo p1s is a pretty nice printer Nice upgrade from what we had. Thanks for watching.